Okay, in this video we're going to use Green's Theorem to evaluate a line integral. So um, the region that we're dealing with, or the path I guess I should say, is um, the triangle that's bounded by x equals 0, x plus y equals 1, and then y equals 0. So that's going to be our path. Um, so I'm going to sketch that. So 1 and 1 are the intercepts, and we kind of go like that. And um, let's see, so this is y equals 1 minus x. And then uh, I guess that's all I really need there. So I'm gonna rewrite the line integral. Oh yeah, I mean, we're going counterclockwise, but you can't do, well, I mean, you can do Green's theorem if you're going clockwise, you just get the negative of what you should get, but kind of the uh, supposition is that we're gonna go counterclockwise. So here's our line integral. When you see that symbol, it means that you've satisfied the conditions of Green's theorem. So you don't have to like worry about it if that's what the symbol looks like. Um, so it's that little circle that is on the integral sign is telling you that it's a simple closed path uh, or region defined by the curve. Um, so we have this. And now what I need to do is figure out what I'm actually going to integrate, right? So I have to find the integrand. So I always find the integrand by doing a two, di two by two determinant. And the first row is the partial derivative. So it's going to be partial x, partial y. And then um, the second row is uh, kind of P and Q. So it's uh, the line integral of P dx plus Q dy. It's always in differential form, pretty much. Um, so P in this case is y squared, Q is x squared. And now we just evaluate this. So derivative with respect to x of x squared is 2x minus derivative with respect to y of y squared is 2y. So that's gonna be our integrand. And now we're going to need the bounds. So if you look at the region, uh, you could go with respect to x and then y, or y and then x. But since I already wrote y equals 1 minus x, I think what makes sense is for y to start at 0 and kind of go up to the line. So y bounds are going to go 0 to 1 minus x. And then my x bounds are just 0 to 1 once I'm done with that. So 0 to 1. And then y goes from zero to one minus x. So using Green's theorem really comes down to um, being pretty good at double integrals, I guess. Um, and those, some people have trouble setting up the regions, but it's not that bad if you just think what's y doing, what's x doing while that happens, um, or the reverse. So uh, let's keep going. Our integrand is gonna be two x minus two y, and then uh, dy, and then dx. Okay, so uh, now it's just a double integral. So integral of zero to one. Uh, the integral of two x with respect to y is just two x y. The integral of negative two y, uh, sorry, negative two y is just negative y squared. So we're gonna get two x y minus y squared. And then the y bounds. So y goes from zero to one minus x. And then we'll take the result and integrate with respect to x. So we're gonna do some substitution. I'm just gonna substitute straight away. So uh, substituting in one minus x gives us stuff. When you substitute in zero, it just zeroes out, which is always kind of nice. So I'm replacing all my y's with one minus x's. If I replace them with zeros, uh, everything goes away. Now I need to integrate this. Um, all right, let's see. So uh, what I'm doing really is distributing and then integrating, so it's the integral of 2x with respect to x is going to be x squared. Um, the integral of negative 2x squared is going to be negative 2 thirds x cubed. And then for this next one, in my mind, I'm doing a u substitution where u is 1 minus x. Um, but what's going to happen is by the chain rule, you pick up another negative and then it's plus 1 times the reciprocal. So ultimately, I end up with 1 third 1 minus x cubed. And then we're going to go from 0 to 1. Uh, when you plug in 1, you get stuff, and when you plug in 0, you also get stuff, so be careful on that. So plugging in 1, uh, I get a 1 minus 2 thirds, and then a 0. So 1 minus 2 thirds, and then it's minus, when you plug in 0, you get a 0, a 0, and then you actually get a 1 third. So 1 third, and then if you simplify all of this, you get 0. So it turns out that our line integral is actually equal to 0. Um, all right, so that's another example of Green's theorem. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.